Danja Hao Wazai Su Yi Racetrack. Right next to here is a very special amusement park that used to be a very popular amusement park here in Taichung, but it has turned into a abandoned place. Back in 1999, they closed it down because there was a earthquake that happened and it killed many people here in Taiwan. And they ended up, you know, shutting this down permanently because it ended up not being safe for people to ride on the rides after the earthquake. And now they have turned this place into a racetrack. From the beginning. Yeah, we're both YouTubers and we came here for one hour to try, try to just show the racetrack and show the park a little bit. Just a really you can't beautiful. Can't go to the park. Cannot? Yeah. Why? What's, what's wrong with the park? Just to take no, some photos? We, it's pretty dangerous there because we still have to remodel the place so we don't allow anybody going down the park. How far can we go though? Can we just take some photos and just, just tell our... You can take the racetrack, you can't go to the park. Okay. Because we had uh, people that came to our racetrack just to go to the park. Yeah. But I said, like I said, we still have to remodel the place. Cause remodel the glass, park. There, yeah. There's glass? The park because they're broken glasses, you know, everything is all over the floor. So um, we're not responsible for anybody that gets I have parties. shoes and I've been to way more dangerous parks than this. Uh, this is what I do for a living. Will we get in or not? This is why it's better just to like go in yeah. and like just kind of sneak. We should have in. just run down there. If I was more experienced, I'd be like, okay, let's just kind of go in very discreetly, very quickly, you know. And maybe like another option would have been maybe to become friends with the race people, you know, make a connection with them first, having a beer with them and then yeah. say, yeah, let's go down there. <laughs> and we were not able to get inside the park because they, they were able to stop us. The security here, pretty tight at this park. Like what I always say in days like today, if you can't beat them, join them. That's why we're up here joining the people that said we cannot go down to the park, but we get to see these cars racing around here instead. And I'm joined here by my really good friend and fellow YouTuber, Travel Comic from Germany. The owner wants to maybe give us a ride on their racetrack that's right over here possibly. Looks kind of dangerous, but it looks fun. I'm so excited, I will die. Be safe. <laughs> Be safe. Be safe. Be safe, yeah. <laughs> you make it look crazy. Ah. Oh, serious. <laughs> it's a new. Yes. Okay. Yay. Hopefully we don't get hurt or something. Yes. And I just hope that we'll have a lot of fun and we only live once so we couldn't say no. It's my first time dragging in a car, I've never dragged before. I'm not much of a car race car guy, but I got a helmet so that's good. How do you feel right now? Scared. I'm not sure if that's the right thing to do in life, but I don't even know how to fix this up. It's okay, it's not like that. It's okay, it should be fine. Hey, Ni Hao. Hello. What's up, Zajai Ma?
Okay, we finished. finished. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe it. Oh, thank you. I'm so Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> thank you so much. Easy. My heart. <laughs> so much. So much adrenaline. I didn't know my heart can beat that fast. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at that. What's this? That was a fire. Fire. Seriously? <coughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Come on. Time. Time. Wow, that's so cool. Okay, originally. Oh Originally, we had no idea we were going to be allowed to go into this park, to be honest. We got in trouble when we first got here, but then we made friends with them, like she said. Kindness is king. <laughs> yeah, and well, I mean, they're just nice people. People here in Taiwan are so friendly and kind. Entrance. This is the entrance of the park right here, and as you can see, it's definitely seen its better days and then right here we've got the mask I love these kinds of places because it really reminds me of Jurassic Park just thinking about this place back in its heyday in the 90s thinking about how much fun people were having here now just nothing it's abandoned just so exciting to come to places like this <laughs> They have turned this ride into a chicken coop area, a chicken fence here, and you know, it's just kind of fun. And then it's a race course up there. They got the black chickens, which are really popular for Chinese medicine. It's overgrown by the vines. Lots of people local here in Taichung remember coming here all the time and enjoying the amusement park here. So have you been to the park before? You've been inside there? Uh, actually, yes, but... Uh, when you were young? I think 10 or uh, maybe 12 years ago. Were there more roller coasters there before? It's uh, totally different. There so, are lots of the facility already removed. So lots of the roller coasters were removed already? Yes. But yes. before it was lots of roller coasters. Now it's just jungle and... Yeah, jungle. But... Uh, it give us a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. And we okay. was trial. Yeah. So you've been here when you were a child, also. Yeah, yeah. There was one child that died on the roller coaster back in 1999, and that is one of the reasons, the contributing factor, why that this place ended up closing down. Most of all, it was to do with the attendance at the park, and there was also the earthquake. So people were a little bit scared to go to amusement parks when they know that there could be an earthquake that could be very dangerous to be on a ride during an earthquake here in Taiwan. This place is long since been abandoned. It's just so overtaken by the jungle as you can see. And this happens to be the amphitheater that was here. They probably did some shows for kids here. Or I don't know exactly what went on here, but it looks really like they had a good time back in its heyday. It's just the jungle now, really overtaken. My experience at amusement parks and dogs normally ends badly with a dog attacking me, but this dog seems to be following me around everywhere I go. He's the cutest dog ever. We're not allowed to stay past five. We just found some film rolls here. It maybe used to be a projector screen somewhere in this park and they brought this whole projector screen type thing that used to be maybe in the movie theaters, 
They've got maybe a movie theater in this park, and this is the projector that they actually use to project the movies or whatever they show here in this place. Here is some of the damage caused from the earthquake right here. As you can see, this whole section of ground just caved in. And yeah, there could be sinkholes here. Very dangerous place, so maybe we should get going. Uh, a little bit dangerous, but you know, this is the excitement part of the adventure coming to these places. Here there's possibly a river rafting ride or some kind of water ride, maybe paddle boat ride, who knows. Floral Expo. I think what happened here a lot of the time was they did these rides and then they most of all were famous for their shows, their presentations or their like puppet shows or something. And so lots of kids really love to come here and see the puppet show and just have a good time. I don't know what's in there. Gogo left us. Yeah, he got scared. So weird. Big big plates. Imagine somebody comes now and closes the door. There's no door. And we can't get out. Oh man. This is an actual like full on kitchen. Yeah. I don't even know if we we're really supposed to come down here, but he said something about the basement, so I think we were Looks like a cross. Oh my god. Where are we? What are we doing? Oh my god. What? There's a big spider. Where? Is there really? <laughs> yeah. It was looking right at me. Oh, there's a big spider. Yeah, we gotta be careful. Yeah. And it was a big one. It's like a maze here. Like, I, I don't even know. It's like a jail right there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't want to go Wow, this place is so weird. Let's just go. We don't have so much time anyway. Yeah, we can go back. It's not so exciting here, it's so scary. Yeah. We should get this one. Those are coals to burn, like, yeah. to cook the food here. Oh. We've been walking on this trail for a long time. I still have not seen another ride for a while. 
And yeah, we still have our dog. He's following us around like a loyal friend. One really interesting thing about this place is they've got these little houses here just randomly scattered throughout the place. It's like a little shed. Back when this park was operational, people could hang out and maybe cool down. All the little kids that grew up in Taichung back in the day came here because it was one of the more happening parks around the area. And Taichung used to not be such a big city, but now it's gotten to be 5 million plus people living here. And so the locals here have seen a very big increase of people coming here. And yeah, it's too bad that they didn't stay in business because there's a lot more people that could come here and enjoy the park. Now nearby there's the racetrack, abandoned and haunted. You've got this kind of weird feeling depending on what time you come here. Right now it's early enough, we're not seeing any ghosts, but you know, you could, you could see some ghosts if you're coming here later on at night. People talk about this ghost. It's a reoccurring thing happening. The abandoned restaurant over there just looks like it was so lively and so many kids ate dinner here. And there's a basement down here. Wow. Should we go I down here? I think that's the basement. That's the basement. basement, yeah. Ooh, should we go down? This was the old coffee house that they had here. And yeah, I mean, parents would just leave their kids to go play on the rides and they would come here and have coffee and do something. And wow, this place, it was really popular to have live shows here, kind of like live, uh, live puppet shows.
As you can see, this is the souvenir shop where they sold a lot of stuffed animals. There's a lot of stuffing of the animals here in this whole room. Looks like the dogs got to some of the stuffed animals and yeah. And then there used to be a bird that used to be in this cage here. And this place is just really, you know, exciting to be in a place like this. Really, thank you to the uh, owners of this land for letting us come and explore this place. Yeah. What's happening here? Oh. What's inside there? Not interesting. Not so interesting? Just a room. <laughs> This amusement park goes in one massive circle all through these woods and really there's not one item here that has not been overtaken by the jungle. Everything is just overgrown and you can't really get too close to some of the rides because there's so much brush and things growing around them. Some ivy and some different kinds of woods are just growing amongst all these rides. Very dangerous to walk into these places because there's so many snakes and of course spiders and just about everything that can kill you is here in Taiwan. Just so amazing to see abandoned places with dogs running around. If you like this video, go check out my other abandoned amusement park video and tell me what you think in the comment section below. 